It's the Valley on ESPN from JQH Arena in Springfield, Missouri. Tonight, it's men's college basketball in the Missouri Valley Conference as the Bradley Braves meet the Missouri State Bears. It is tight atop the Missouri Valley Conference standings with five teams within two games of each other with just two to go and Missouri State and Bradley still in the top half. Hi, everybody. I'm Don West, joined this evening by Corey Riggs. A brutal, wintry day in Springfield with sleet covering the ground. But, Corey, indoors here at JQH tonight, we've got a big one in the Valley. Well, every game's a big game right now. We're just eight days away from the beginning of Arch Madness in St. Louis. But you know what? Bradley got to town yesterday. The officials got to town yesterday, and the Bears are already <laughs> here. Doesn't matter how bad the roads are. We're ready for basketball tonight. Let's show you a fun matchup for tonight's game, the Impact Players. For the Bradley Braves, Malabi Leons from the Netherlands had 16 points and eight boards against Missouri State in the last meeting. And for Lakai Patterson of Missouri State, a career high of 20 points. Yeah, when you see Leon, 6'9", a junior, and he has just been hard to handle as of late. He and Rink Mast take a ton of attention for defenses, and this is a young man who's versatile. He leads the team in block shots. He's second in rebounds. He's third in scoring. Good luck with number 14. And then Lukai Patterson, man, he went off a career-high 20 points the last time Missouri State met Bradley and Patterson man he's like a bull he sees that Bradley red he lights up gets on the warpath he normally is the assist leader for this team a lot of nights 10 times this season but tonight he could end up leading them in scoring yet again and the last time they played in Peoria it was a 71-69 win with these numbers good three-point shooting from Bradley but Isaiah Mosley had the three of the evening with a shot at the buzzer that won it for the Bears, 71 to 69. That was on January 5th. A lot has happened since then. With Missouri State in the lineup, Jalen Minette on his senior night, as well as Isaiah Mosley, who leads the Valley in free throw percentage, and Gage Prim, who leads the conference in blocks, and he misses his first attempt underneath. Going to be a good battle all night watching him match up with number 51 there, Rink Mast. And the Bradley lineup includes Rink Mast, the Valley's leading rebounder, and Terry Roberts, who leads the conference in assists. And this one goes down to get it started for the Braves for three. Tavin Nynan is their best three-point shooter for the Braves. That is the first of what could be many tonight. He shot the ball well against this Bears defense in Bradley back on January 5th. 45th three of the season. All time the 68th meeting with the Bears leading 42 to 25. Last year the Bears won two here. Last year in the altered schedule season, the last Bradley win came two years ago at the Carver Arena in overtime. Donovan Clay turns over the ball on a travel. Bradley will get it back here already with that Tavanine and three under their belts. Well, this is a fun one tonight with these teams separated by just one game in the standings. Both teams looking up at Northern Iowa and Loyola and the Panthers getting all they want from Indiana State tonight so far. Yeah, that was a one possession game the last time we saw the scoreboard as Tavanine launches from three again, but this time misses. Donovan Clay for Manette, and just short, but online. Offensive rebound for Missouri State and Isaiah Mosley. Patterson was lucky there, got tied up, nearly traveled with the ball, nearly turned it over, but Missouri State keeps it deep in the shot clock. Pull out for Manette, and count that one. Jalen Manette, his 353rd career three-pointer, seventh among active NCAA players. Got introduced to the crowd earlier tonight, pregame with his mom and his brother. You see our keys to the game tonight. Take care of the ball. Bradley is so good when they turn the ball over in limited amounts. Under 13 turnovers, they're perfect this year. And tempo, Bradley gets up the floor quick and grinds just to a, almost a halt on the defensive end. Then for Missouri State, more Mosley. Isaiah Mosley's only scored on 13 points in the last two games combined. 
Bradley's the best rebounding team in the Valley. Missouri State needs to beat them on the glass tonight. They get a big rebound right there from Gage Prim. And Lakai Patterson with the score. Looking for another big game, as we told you, against the Braves. Something about this red man on Bradley. He just lights up. Went off for 20 the first time. Could have another night like that here tonight. Good hustle underneath there for Leons to get inside Prim for the rebound. And the turnaround, count it, Terry Roberts. Roberts so very good. A lot of people are already saying he's going to be the Missouri Valley Conference newcomer of the year. Just a ton of skills. He check marks every box as now the Bears throw the ball in the backcourt. Another turnover. Ryan Wardle on the Bradley bench in his seventh season. Five years at Green Bay with 95 wins there. He played at Marquette, played in two NITs in 1998 and 2000. You know, they often say, Don, that coaches or teams take on the personality of their coaches. And Brian Wardle is two, two things. He is smart and he is tough. And so are his Braves. And that's how they have battled back from what was really a bad start to the season. Got off to a one and five start. Grim gets the pick. And Missouri State gets it low to Gage Prim, and he is fouled by Rink Mast. This is what Gage Prim does best. You see that little high-low screen and roll there between him and Manette, and he started up there with the screen for the three-point shooter for the Bears, then rolls down low. Three Braves collapsed in on him, and he's going to go to the free throw line. Dana Ford looks for Missouri State win number 70 tonight as the Bears in the 20-win column for the first time in his tenure here at Missouri State. And it's Gage Prim with his first point of the evening, breaking a tie on the Missouri State career scoring list and moving into 16th place alone, breaking the tie with Jared Dixon, best known for the half-court bomb at the buzzer against Illinois State three years ago. That video just popped up again on my social media. Like, what was that, about a week, 10 days ago? February 11th of 19. See, we aren't far removed from the anniversary of that night. So Prim now with 1,247 career points. And before the night is over, he will pass a Missouri State legend, Winston Garland. Wow. That is his next target. And that, that is the name that is up in the rafters here. So that's how you know how big a deal that is. Pull back three and count it. And it is Tavanainen, the Finland native, now with his second three. Now he shoots a high percentage and he shoots maybe even a little better percentage against the Bears. I think he shot about 44, 45% in the home game. Friendly bounce for Lakai Patterson. That's a one point Bradley lead. We're off to a quick start here in Springfield. We we'll talk about it in the keys, Don. This is a Bradley team that loves to play up tempo, loves to get these. Everybody on this team can shoot the three. That time, Tom and Iden's the fadeaway turnaround jump shot, no good. He was probably a little too close that time. Isaiah Mosley. Remember, he has had as many as 43 in a game against Northern Iowa here for a JQH Arena record. That was a two. And now Bradley with another chance. Manette comes away with the ball for Missouri State. Roberts pulled the trigger, didn't make it, tried to get his own rebound, and the Bears take it right back. Dawson Carper on the floor for the Bears, the big seven-footer. Manette feeling it, wouldn't go. Mikey oh. Howell has the rebound. Don, that's probably his favorite spot, that right ear of the Missouri State logo. That's well beyond the three-point line, but that seems to be Manette's launching spot. He likes to take a look from right there. Out to Ari Boya, the brave seven-footer, and that's traveling and will take us to a break. Nearly six minutes gone by, 11-10. Missouri State on top of Bradley in a big one tonight in the Valley.
The Capital One Saver Card, baby. 4% cash back on dining and entertainment. Rewarding Chuck for dining and entertainment? That's all he does. That's like rewarding me every time I use a curse word. It's like rewarding me every time I say hello, friends. Like rewarding me for every time I plunder. Hey, Garth, thanks for the goat cheese. Don't thank me. Thank her. <laughs> this goat cheese is from that goat? <laughs> <laughs> What's in your wallet? Whoa, 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 hold up there, partner. That's my line now. <laughs> Tell him, Sam. Tell him who's the goat. It's true, everyone gets a free new Samsung Galaxy S22 with a Galaxy trade-in. Any year, any condition. Really? Even if my old phone looks like this? <gasps> Dude, why? <gasps> oh, it's okay, people. I've trained for this. It's not complicated. Everyone gets a free new Samsung Galaxy S22 with the Galaxy trade-in. Any year, any condition. It's bow time. No, 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 no. Out of gas on game day? Drop a big bow box on it. Feed a family of four with eight pieces of chicken, biscuits, fixins, and tea. It's bow time. Missouri State by one at 11-10. Side by side, the Bears and the Braves. Well, Missouri State leads the Valley in points per game, and Bradley is seventh. And in free throw percentage, a big disparity. The Bears are league leaders, and Bradley is ninth. But the Braves, with their height and their size, have an edge on the boards. Yep, not by much, though. Rebounding offense, Bradley's number one. Missouri State's number three. Field goal percentage defense, Bradley's one. Missouri State's two in that rebounding margin. Bradley just clips Missouri State as well. They're kind of lined up one, two, or two, three in a lot of the rebounding metrics that are followed, followed in the Missouri Valley Conference. Gage Prim talking things over here with Kip Kissinger. Gage is, has got to be the most bruised up player in the Missouri Valley, just getting beat around in the lane, game in and game out. Well, we've heard Art Haynes, the, the radio play-by-play -play voice of the Bears, make mention of this on more than one occasion. He is involved in more fouls in any given night than just about any player because he gives his four or five fouls. He draws more charges than any other Bear on the team, and he shoots more free throws than anybody else. Donovan Clay on the board, but didn't have an angle at a putback. And it'll come out to Jamonte Black, a normal Bear starter for the season, who has hit over 150 career threes, but he misses that one. Isaac Haney defending here for the Bears as well, with Mikey Howell running at a guard. And we'll get a foul called here by the official Brooks Wells. And check foul on Donovan Clay. I was here for the shoot around with Missouri State earlier and Dana Ford told Clay, you're gonna be with Roberts all night. That's how much attention they're gonna pay to number zero. A guy who when he was playing pickup games in New York got the nickname Mr. 40 for dropping 40 point games on people. Out to the top for three, it's masked and it's off. Haney goes up for the board. One point difference, been tied all the way, never separated by more than three. And Mosley gets rejected by Leons. Braves now, saw a little jersey grab there. <laughs> Haney getting in the way, disrupting Zeke Montgomery. Didn't disrupt him enough, though. Nope. Montgomery able to knock down the bucket, and Haney falling backwards, trying not to pick up an early foul here. And this game just can't seem to be separated by much more than a point right now here in the early going. Missouri State 11-4 at home this year. They haven't had a 12-win home season in eight years. Here's Prim, up and around, 
And Bradley quick to the rebound with Terry Roberts. It's a great battle right now. If you like big band play, Rink Mask and Gage Prim are just leaning on one another. And here's Prim getting back behind the defense. And he'll throw it off a defensive man. And that'll take us to a break. The under 12 of the first half, and it's Bradley up by a point at 12-11. Gage Brim getting his workout on his senior night here at JQH. People assume these photo shoots are easy. Just like they assume they can't afford great insurance. But State Farm has rates that fit any budget. Gorgeous. What? Can I get a profile? All in the core. For surprisingly great rates that fit any budget, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or click to get a quote today. Hello, sweet babies. Welcome to your new home. You have changed our life, and you may even change the world. And because of you, 2022 is the best year ever. Mercy has helped moms deliver babies for nearly 200 years. To find out how to welcome your baby at Mercy, visit mercy.net slash msumom. This world is full of opportunities. Chances, dares, windows that open to greatness for tomorrow's workforce. It all matters. The future is coming. Tomorrow's leaders are ready to make their statement today. Who are they? Here come the bears. Bradley up by one, 12-11. And Terry Roberts making a run, as we said, at that NBC Newcomer Award. Terry Roberts, 15 points, leading the Braves and four assists per game, leading the Valley. Yep, he is a bright spot for Bradley this season. And I told you, uh, you know, grew up in uh, New York City, played a lot of pickup games, a lot of tournaments, the outdoor courts there in New York, and got the nickname Mr. 40 for having a 40-point game. but. The other thing about him, Don, that at least stands out to me, I got a teenager at home that seems to be fascinated right now with like the old 80s horror movies. Well, he's from Amityville, New York, and on nights where he goes off, you could call him the Amityville horror because he can flat wreck opposing defenses. He's gonna try to get on pace here tonight, but it's not easy. Donovan Clay was his shadow in game one. He's gonna be there again in game two, and for Dana Ford, Clay almost always this season takes your, your best score on the other side. Roberts even grew up near that Amityville house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gage Prim goes to work for the Bears out of the break and hooks one home. Boy, and that is my favorite part of his game that I don't think he goes to enough anymore. He Quick just answer the other way. He just olayed and got out of the way that time of Bradley's Mikey Howell, the 6'3 senior. So Prem now has moved into the Bears' top 15 with that rainbow three that won't go, and he has indeed passed Winston Garland on Missouri State's career scoring list. Remember, Garland did his damage in two memorable seasons. Two of the best seasons in Missouri State history, and that's why his name's up in the rafters with the likes of Curtis Perry and Jerry Anderson and Daryl Garrison. The only four uniforms retired here inside JQH Arena for the men. Patterson, little space, but a miss, and it's masked on the board. Garland's years were the 1986 season, the Bears' first postseason year of the NIT. Nearly made it to Madison Square Garden, losing by one point to Florida in the NIT quarterfinals. And then 87, the Missouri State first NCAA season. Went over Clemson in the big dance, their first appearance. Patterson to the basket. The foul to Mikey Howell. Luca. 
Lukai Patterson is such a, a mismatch problem at times, as you see Hal bump him off his line there. I was talking to Dave Snell, the veteran play-by-play -play voice of Bradley earlier today, and he goes, I was so surprised, you know, he's thick and will play with his back to the basket, back a man down like he's a forward, but then he's got guard skills and can make the assists and play out on the perimeter. He's just a tough matchup, Patterson. Howell's miss here, saved in for Missouri State. Through 10 minutes, Missouri State trailing on the boards, 12-11. A lot of missed shots now. A lot more were falling in the first five. Here's Clay. That's a three that's good for Donovan Clay. Just the second made three-pointer for Missouri State in the game. They need that. Swings the pendulum back in the Bears' favor. Clay gets so much attention for his defense. He was a big-time offensive player before he came to Missouri State, but his identity here in Springfield has been as a defensive stopper. Honor Hickman puts one down. Freshman. Bloomington, Indiana. Hickman's a coach's kid, so you know what you're going to get out of him. But he kind of hit the freshman wall the last couple weeks, been having a hard time scoring, but not having a problem there with that jump shot as Kip Kissinger's going to whistle this one off. Got a foul down below on Boya. Seven foot one, big man from Cameroon there for the Braves will pick up his first foul. Boy, his career at Bradley's kind of been beset with injuries three of the last four years. He's missed a lot of time due to stress fractures in his feet. Harry denies the inbounds pass, but Prim gets it anyway. And it's Mosley for Clay for another look at three. Clay had hit only 10 all year, and he's gone for two here in the last minute or two. Donovan Clay dialed in from downtown with back-to-back -back triples. Mosley slipped there for a moment on defense. Got to catch up now. Tapped around, and there's Boya underneath to find it. Seven foot one with about a seven foot four wingspan, and he put it to good use there. Now Bradley just down one to Missouri State after those back-to-back -back triples by Clay. Still no bigger separation than three points either way. Mosley will go and gets hit. Down it goes, and a chance for four for Isaiah Mosley. Mosley going to get a run at the unicorn here with the four-point play. Isaiah Mosley, they worked on this during the shoot-around. He was either supposed to have a straight-line drive off that play or a good look at three, and he had exactly that. Able to deliver, and then one of the best free-throw shooters in the country and in the Valley going to go to the line here for four. And it was a right-wing three that he made at the buzzer at the Carver Arena to win the game for Missouri State. Kind of like that with a hand was, right in his face. He was a little bit further out. Up north, I think that was about a 23-footer he had to hit at the buzzer for the win. Three this way, spins out for Hickman. Clay pulls down his third rebound. Clay with top. six points and three rebounds, Don. He leads Missouri State until Mosley hits another three. Oh, it could be. Mosley starting to feel it again, and timeout for Brian Wardle. And remember, it was Mosley who started that huge run of his junior season with that buzzer beater. Next time out, he scored 43 points. Donovan Clay hitting a pair of threes, and the Bears lead by seven. Capital One Saver Card, baby. 4% cash back on dining and entertainment. Rewarding Chuck for dining and entertainment? That's all he does. That's like rewarding me every time I use a curse word. It's like rewarding me every time I say hello, friends. Like rewarding me for every time I plunder. Hey, Garth, thanks for the goat cheese. Don't thank me. Thank her. <laughs> this goat cheese is from that goat? <laughs> What's in your wallet? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up there, partner. That's my line now. 
<laughs> Tell him, Sam. Tell him who's the GOAT. It's true. Everyone gets a free new Samsung Galaxy S22 with a Galaxy trade-in. Any year, any condition. Really? Even if my old phone looks like this? <gasps> Dude, why? <gasps> oh, it's okay, people. They've trained for this. It's not complicated. Everyone gets a free new Samsung Galaxy S22 with the Galaxy trade-in. Any year, any condition. Arby's, two for six bucks. Every day. Crispy fish with that spicy kick. Two of those things for just six bucks. Arby's, we have the meat. Check out this verbo. Oh, man. Look at me. Here I am. Right where I belong. It's all I've been looking for and so much more. And now I'm here, now you're here. Nothing can go wrong because I am right where I belong. Your time or someone else's? Isaiah Mosley is up to his old tricks. Eight points with a couple of threes that have gone already. Yeah, Bradley doesn't want to see that, but I tell you what type of quality young man he is. With all the weather and everything today, Don, I got here early. I was here during shoot around. Most guys come in, just pick up a ball and start getting up shots. When Mosley walked in the gym this afternoon, he went to every player, every manager, every coach, fist bump, high five, hug, something before he ever picked up a ball. That's what kind of team guy he is, and that is a team throwdown by Aboya. Nice designed play by Coach Wardle out of the timeout. Ended the Missouri State 6-0 run in a big way for the Braves. Margin is at five, and Mosley Starting tonight at number 14 on Missouri State's career scoring list. He is feeling it, and now he has stepped into another record for Missouri State basketball. Yep, got to kind of dig in the book, but uh, as far as when Missouri State has been a D1 school in this conference, the Missouri Valley, he passes all-time great Danny Moore for most conference points by a bear in the D1 era. Net with a miss. Oh, sniper. Foul called by Brooks Wells. Dana oh, Ford showing some slipped. elevation in his wow. objection to the call. I can't say that I blamed him that time. Thought the player was going down before there was any contact, but doesn't look like Dane is going to get any help with that. Video on the Let's board see. here oh, in the arena. Yeah, I'm sorry. He slipped before Clay ever got there. That's wrong place, wrong time, I guess, for Donovan Clay, but. Tough little turnaround goes down for Montgomery. Boy, the freshman showing out right now. 6 6 out of Louisville, Kentucky, and each time Montgomery's gotten on the floor, he's added points to the Bradley list. Boy, Mosley just knows it's going in right now. The Bears will try to get it to him. Patterson to the block and across. Dawson Parper will come out to the arc. And Haney fakes his man and will head for the line. What set all that up was the great post-to-post -post passing that time between Carper and your, your guard slash forward here at Lukai Patterson. And then Ice Isaac Haney leans in and saddles Aboya with another foul, his second. And it's Haney now looking for his first points. Scoreless in 10 minutes of play Sunday at Northern Iowa. That was a 20-point Missouri State loss, 95-75. 
a lack of defense that Dana Ford did not accept. Worst, worst, worst beat of the year, man. I mean, you know, you get beat by 20. Defense wasn't there. Mosley couldn't score. He had a some. He's got more points now with five and a half minutes to go until halftime than he had the entire game. So it was it was a bad deal all around, and it was another one of those shrinking violet moments, you know. There's been a lot of those games this year where Missouri State has been like, this is the biggest game of the Dana Ford era, and they did not get the win on the road when they needed it against the Panthers. Look at the defense by Prim all over rank mast. Three is too deep. Mosley the long rebound. And they'll keep Roberts right in his face. Turnaround is good anyway for Mosley. Can't do it, and Roberts looks like he's playing on a bad wheel right now, Don. He's got a little hitch in his giddy up, and say that spin move by Mosley can break ankles, but I think Roberts was hurt before that. Here's another turnover. Missouri State will look for a double-digit lead. Mosley, oh, wow. Turns right into the Bradley bench and says, it may be one of those nights, fellas. I'm feeling pretty good. 16 now for Mosley with four threes. Jamonte Black going to get caught with his hand in the cookie jar there. But man, Mosley just in the zone. And Don, when it comes to him, it looks so, he makes it look so easy right now. Just steps right into the shot. That was good defense. Zeke Montgomery had a hand in his face. It wasn't like he was lost on a defensive switch. It wasn't like they sagged off or were helping on somebody else. They know who that is. That's Isaiah Mosley. He's arguably the best scorer in the Missouri Valley Conference. Rejection here by several sets of hands. And the other way now for Missouri State with all the momentum. And Isaac Haney cannot get it down. Well, Mosley now will get a timeout here for Bradley. Mosley climbing the Bears' single season scoring list as well. Well, we'll get to that after the break. Bears up by 12, but Ari Boya firing underneath for Bradley. Arch Madness. It's all about the excitement, the fans, the history, the big moments. Shoots at the horn. Good! Good! It's all about the madness. To make it to the tournament. And March, it, it begins, begins here. here. I'll see you in St. Louis. Visit archmadness.com for ticket information. Since 1907, we've been one valley, breaking down recruitment barriers, hiring coaches to lead our programs, and developing the country's next set of leaders. MVC student athletes are positively impacting the communities where they live by sharing views and fostering a climate for change for future Valley pioneers. To learn more about mobilizing voices for change, visit nvc-sports.com slash one valley. We believe banking should make your life greater. It starts with affordable options to meet today's needs and tomorrow's dreams. From smart account options that fit your style to flexible loans for what comes next. It means convenient ways to access and manage your money whenever you need it and wherever you're headed. Most of all, it takes great support. Someone you can count on for trusted guidance and to be there for you every step of the way. Great options, great convenience, great support for life. Great Southern Bank, understanding what really matters. Isaiah Mosley tonight with 16 points already in this game has moved from 11th to 8th on Missouri State's single season scoring list. That's a big jump, but he's a big time player. You know, earlier this season, Don, in the month of January, he won Missouri Valley Conference Player of the Week honors back to back to back weeks making him the first player to do that since Hersey Hawkins did it in the, 80, the 87, 88 season. And, you know, Hawkins was just arguably the best player all time in Bradley's history. That just happens who Missouri State seems to be is taking on 
tonight. And Hawkins got honored, what, uh, was it last year? Going into the uh, National Collegiate Basketball Hall of Fame. All-time scorer in Bradley history. Bradley could use some scoring right now as they find themselves upside down on the scoreboard to Missouri State. Bears on a 15 to four charge and Winston Garland hanging from the rafters here at Missouri State with Gage Prim passing him tonight. Those who were here will never forget Winston Garland. There's Mast for his first two. Missouri State and Gage Prim doing a good job defensively on rink Mast, keeping him out of the scoring column, but he's still been able to help his team in other ways. He's got four rebounds. That's the most of any player on the floor tonight. And that had to track this one and somehow was able to turn and save it. I don't even know how he got there. Kind of blinded by the Jack Nicholson seats. Look at that, one foot in the corner turn and bounce it off of uh, Leon's there. And how athletic do you have to be to pull that off and stay in bounds? Here's Prim with the score. Prim with a strong take that time under two Braves defenders. Uses the glass and gets it to go. Prim's got six points. So the Braves playing come from behind here now, down a dozen after the Bears run. And here's a steal, Manette the other way. Mosley throwing into traffic, and Prim comes up with the ball. Two fakes and a foul will put him on the line with a foul to Mast for his second. Rank Mast and Gage Prim are two of the best bigs of the Missouri Valley Conference. You see Mosley bounces that one off the chest of an opposing player. And Prim then trying to play through Tavaninens and Mast. And Mast is, you know, Bradley's equivalent of Gage Prim. He's a walking double-double every night. Prim just two of six from the field so far tonight, but for the year, third in the Valley. 57.5% shooting. Good from the foul line, maintaining Missouri State's 79.6% team free throw number. Oh, one out of two here. Big seven foot one Boya comes in off the bench and gets the rebound and Prim missing the second free throw. Keeps Dawson Carper, the Bears seven footer from getting onto the floor. Three won't go for Howell, another look. And count that one for Bradley and Connor Hickman. Strikes for his first three. Hickman was an Indiana junior all-star in high school, supreme 15 underclassman. Missed his senior year with an injury though, and Mosley still feeling it. And Brian Wardle Upset with his defense there, but it's Missouri State that calls the timeout after the basket by Isaiah Mosley for 18 points in the first half. Well, I mean, this is what Bradley hangs their hat on. And right now, Brian Wardle, and you can see Rink Mast trying to talk his teammates up. Bradley, defense is their tradition there. You know, they love the fact that they rank is one of the best field goal defenses in the country as you look at this and Don, it's like a bad lottery game. Look at this. So Missouri State, Northern Iowa, Loyola, and Drake, the only four teams left that could possibly be number one. Bradley can't be number one, but they can do no worse than six. Missouri State can do no worse than five, which means staying in, staying out of that dreaded play-in game on Thursday because still to this date, no one has played four games in four days at Arch Madness and won the tournament. So much can happen with only two to go in the regular season. One for everybody after tonight. And an and one coming here for Bradley. Foul to Dawson Carper. Carper was giving up room here on Mikey Howell and ends up turning around and clipping the 6'3 guard from San Diego, California. Played four years at UC San Diego and had over 500 assists. 
Aimed to Bradley for his grad year. And he misses from the line. He also played soccer for 10 years, Don. He was a member of the USA Junior Team. He was a big time soccer player before he went ahead and gave himself completely to the game of basketball. Under two to go in the first half. Prim through to the corner and Minette off from three. And there's Mosley to pick it and a look at three that does not go. Mosley now four of six from the arc. I don't know that Dana Four is going to be too upset with that number here in the first half. Three rattles in for Connor Hickman. Hickman heating up now here in the final seconds of the first half. He didn't do much. Now all of a sudden he's shooting 50% from the outside. Bradley making a move back within seven. Mosley draws a double team and saved in. There's Prim underneath for the score. Mikey Howell saved it into the wrong big man. Prim just sitting there waiting and takes about as easy a two as he'll probably get tonight. Look at how Prim calls out all the defensive switches, and it ends up being another turnover here. Patterson followed by Prim. Prim just laying in the weeds for that two-handed jam put back. You talked about how close Bradley was getting Don, and then all of a sudden Prim flexes, and it's back to an 11-point lead for the Bears. A five-point surge has put Missouri State in a good position headed into halftime. Look underneath. Manette guarding. Prim gets there and commits the foul. And he did. He was trying to help Manette that time, Don. Bradley got exactly what they want. That's a great play call by Brian Wardle because they got Leones and his length there, 6'9", 210 pounds, matched up on the much smaller Jalen Manette. Prim flashing down there trying to help him out. Ends up picking up for Gage what is just his first personal foul of the night. And Malavi Leones looking for his first point after he scored 16 against the Bears in Peoria. He had 21 points and nine boards. Saturday against Illinois State in a Bradley win. Now he's a Swiss Army knife. He does everything for this team. He ranks in the top five in field goal percentage, scoring, block shots, rebounds, and assists. Sixth in free throw percentage. And one out of two. Five seconds for Missouri State. Up floor it's Jamonte Black, and he throws it into the bench. And 1.4 now for Bradley. Well, he had two three-point shooters occupying the same part of the floor. He had Haney and Minette side by side. He threw it over both their heads. Half court. And at the half, 43-33. Our halftime score with Missouri State on top. And Gage Prim doing what he does so very well with the follow putting it down for 11 points in the half. Mosley had 18 for the Bears. I am so pumped to be back with you guys for March Madness. <laughs> you remember the first time we got together? Good seat, Sam. I used my Capital One Quicksilver card and earned 1.5% cash back. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. <laughs> Come on, right? Sorry, I'll never do that again. Promise. Hello, friends. You knew about the Quicksilver card back then? It's called being a visionary, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, you've always been ahead of the game. It's bow time. No, 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 no. Out of gas on game day? Drop a big bow box on it. Feed a family of four with eight pieces of chicken, biscuits, fixins, and tea. It's bow time. Stuff. We love stuff, and there's some really great stuff out there. But I doubt that any of us will look back on our lives and think, I wish I'd bought an even thinner TV, found a lighter light beer, or had an even smarter smartphone. Do you think any of us will look back in our lives and regret the things we didn't buy? Or the places we didn't go? 
true. Everyone gets a free new Samsung Galaxy S22 with a Galaxy trade-in. Any year, any condition. Really? Even if my old phone looks like this? <gasps> Dude, why? <gasps> How could you? It's okay, people. I've trained for this. It's not complicated. Everyone gets a free new Samsung Galaxy S22 with the Galaxy trade-in. Any year, any condition. Let me tell you, you want to be successful? You got to hustle. You got to go the extra mile. Make a name for yourself. Have a firm grip. Always dress for success, and you got to show them who's boss. Thanks for coming in. We'll get back to you. Hustle, sure, but for what matters. When you do, it leads to amazing. Welcome to the next level, the all-new Lexus NX. Missouri State with a lead over Bradley at halftime in this Missouri Valley Conference men's matchup on the Valley on ESPN. Don West with Corey Riggs here at JQH Arena. Corey Bears battled hard with Bradley and had that 15-4 run that really gave them some distance in the middle part of the half. Yep, and getting contributions from everybody up and down the scoring card so far, uh, including their seniors that got recognized earlier tonight. And that's Jalen Minette and Gage Prim. Minette coming into Missouri State for this one year from IUPUI. And Gage Prim in his career total over 1,600 points with over 1,250 of those now in the Bears uniform. He just keeps going up the charts here at Missouri State. You've chronicled that. Jalen Minette, been such a great addition. The grad transfer from IUPUI, bringing that three-point mentality. He was awarded with the Valley Newcomer of the Week honors back on December 20th when he uh, had about, what, 15 points, two and a half assists, and three steals in a four-game streak there. But uh, he is a fantastic shooter and part of the reason why Missouri State rewrote the JQH three-point record earlier this year when they played Evangel. Shooting like that, Manette's one of his favorite spots is from that Bears ear. I think I mentioned that right off the bat, but it's like Barry Henson used to tell me about Blake Ahern. Coach, when does he have the green light to shoot? Pretty much when he gets off the bus. And that's been the case for Jalen Manette for his entire career. And there's Gage Prim. He gets so much done and has on the inside for Missouri State. Well, my favorite thing about Prim is something I learned earlier tonight from, from Corey Gibson, the assistant coach. Been watching Gage and, and his shot, and you talk about the unique angle that it takes, how much air he puts under the basketball, and that's because his shot mimics his favorite NBA player. His favorite NBA player is Nicole Jokin from the Denver Nuggets. And uh, he has that exact same shot, but man, you saw it earlier tonight. I said it the first year he came to Springfield, and I say it still right now. With his back to the basket, there is nobody better in the Missouri Valley Conference. He's got a great touch on the basketball and on the shot, and man, when he goes to that sky hook, when he goes old school, give me that hook shot, Prim can beat anybody, and he, uh, you know you've reached a certain point in your career when they name the flex cam after you over <laughs> and put it in the student section. He has been fun to watch, you know, kind of like Disky the Wonder Dog here. Hey, he's making the plays on the Frisbees tonight <laughs> here at halftime. He doesn't mind if it's icy outside. Bears lead it by 10. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, banking with Capital One is the easiest decision in the history of decisions. <laughs> Even easier than this. I'll take Barkley. Yes, I still got it. I told you she picked me first. <laughs> yep, even easier than that. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, is it even a decision? That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Hobbies, 
two for six bucks. Every day, Arby's classic roast beef, adored by billions. Two of those things for just six bucks. Arby's, we have the meat. It's true, everyone gets a free new Samsung Galaxy S22 with a Galaxy trade-in. Any year, any condition. Really? Even if my old phone looks like this? <gasps> Dude, why? <gasps> it's okay, people. I've trained for this. It's not complicated. Everyone gets a free new Samsung Galaxy S22 with the Galaxy trade-in. Any year, any condition. Stuff. We love stuff. And there's some really great stuff out there. But I doubt that any of us will look back on our lives and think, I wish I'd bought an even thinner TV. Found a lighter light beer. Or had an even smarter smartphone. Do you think any of us will look back in our lives and regret the things we didn't buy? Or the places we didn't go? Gillette introduces the all-new Gillette Labs with exfoliating bar, a razor designed to give you a quick and easy shave. It combines shaving and gentle exfoliation into one efficient stroke. The bar in the handle removes unseen dirt and debris that gets in the way of the blades, giving you a shave as quick and easy as washing your face, so you can look like you put in an effort, effortlessly. Gillette, the best a man can get. Two-time MVP, defensive player of the year for a reason. It's Saturday primetime. Nets Bucks on ABC. Forty-three, thirty-three. Missouri State. Missouri sports legend Ned Reynolds has found some friends tonight. <laughs> it's a good night to have some friends. It's cold outside, man. Indeed. 43-33 here. Boy, when Isaiah Mosley gets that glint in his eye, you better watch out if you're on the other team. Yeah, that glint in his eye is kind of like seeing a light at the end of the tunnel, and sometimes it's the train coming at you. There's a reason why this guy's gone off for 40, 30, 20. I mean, when he's in the zone, he is unlike anybody you've seen in maroon and white. Well, let's check those first half highlights, including some of Isaiah Mosley as he hit some threes and helped build this bare lead to 10 points. Now get it going with Bradley, Terry Roberts, his only make of the half with that little turnaround jump shot. Isaac Haney falls down, Zeke Montgomery buries two of his four points. He only played six minutes. Here's Big Boyer with the put back, and then they start getting the ball outside. Tavin nine, it knocks down one of his two threes. Missouri State answers back. Donovan Clay was a perfect two of two from downtown. Here's Prim, a little left-handed flip up and in, and then Mosley inside, outside. Clay knocks down his second triple of the first half. Back outside again, Hickman launches from three and is able to connect again. Boya, the handoff. Hickman can hit, that's his spot. Got to get a hand in his face. Watch Mosley. Starts right, comes back left. Mosley, four of six from three-point land. Then Missouri State forces a turnover. Mosley puts him in the spin cycle and scores two more. And, well, there's a reason why he had the game high. That's three of his 18 points in the first half for Isaiah Mosley. Back in a minute with Missouri State leading at halftime, 43-33.
At Lowe's, you never have to be finished with your finishing touches, with aisles of ways to refresh and restyle for whatever style you're feeling and prices you're really feeling. Shop the Lowe's Bath Style and Save event now, in-store and online. I've made progress with my mental health. So when I started having unintentional body movements called tardive dyskinesia, I ignored them. But when the twitching and jerking in my face and hands affected my day to day, I finally had to say, it's not okay. It was time to talk to my doctor about Osteto. She said Osteto helps reduce TD movements in adults, while I continue with most of my mental health medications. Osteto can cause depression, suicidal thoughts or actions in patients with Huntington's disease. Pay close attention to and call your doctor if you become depressed, have sudden changes in mood, behaviors, feelings, or have suicidal thoughts. Common side effects include inflammation of the nose and throat, insomnia, and sleepiness. Don't take Osteto if you have liver problems, are taking rezerpine, tetrabenazine, or valbenazine. Osteto may cause irregular or fast heartbeat, restlessness, movements mimicking Parkinson's disease, fever, stiff muscles, problems thinking, and sweating. Talk to your doctor about Osteto. It's time to treat TD. TD is not okay. Visit askforosteto.com. Vivid Seats, your ticket to soul raising, heart racing, 100 beats per minute. What are we wearing? Once in a lifetime, memories in the making, bumps like a goose brisket for tailgating, reach for the universe, rapid breathing, can't catch my breath, top of lungs singing. This is it. The moment is now. Can you believe it? Wow. Get your tickets at Vivid Seats. Life happens live. Seven and eight, Monday at nine on ACC Network. It's really been a gift having mom live with us. But as a nurse, my training told me she needed more help than I could provide. So I connected with a place for mom. My senior living advisor understood our unique situation. She quickly recommended communities and set up tours. A place for mom helped us get to a decision. And now, mom is so well cared for. Our service comes at no cost to your family. Connect with us today. Football February on ESPN Plus. The MLS opening weekend. The beauty of La Liga and the power of Bundesliga. Plus, Chelsea and Liverpool collide in the Carabao Cup final. This weekend on ESPN, ESPN Deportes, and ESPN Plus. Look at your first half numbers. Both teams in the mid to upper 40s for shooting percentage. Bench points, a big favor to Bradley at 12 to one, but at the bottom there, Corey, the steals kind of go against a Missouri State trend. Yeah, I say Missouri State has been dead last in the Missouri Valley Conference as far as steals per game. Drake's number one in the conference at over seven a game. Bradley's number five at almost six and a half a game. And Missouri, nor Missouri State normally only has about five, five and a half steals a game. They've got more than that in the first half. So doing a good job of being aggressive, forcing those turnovers and having an opportunity to, to turn those into points on the other end. They forced Bradley into seven turnovers in the first half. Missouri State only committed three turnovers the first 20 minutes. Very clean game for Missouri State. Your Missouri Valley Conference news and notes. Those top five teams separated by only two games. You want to go to archmadness.com for all the information about the Missouri Valley Tournament at the Enterprise Center in St. Louis. And Gage Prim leading the Valley with 10 double-doubles this year could be on the way to another. Ironically enough, the guy he's been fighting all night, Rink Mast, sits number two in the Missouri Valley Conference in double-doubles. Gage has 10, Rink Mast has seven. Go so back at it now with Missouri State up by 10 at 43-33. There's a final, and Indiana State gave Northern Iowa all they wanted, but the Panthers win tonight in Terre Haute, 88-82.
And Drake gets the win at Valparaiso this evening. And those both those games done going the opposite way that Missouri State fans wanted them to go if they hoped for some way for Missouri State to sweep the weekend and get help and have a chance to get to the number one seed. Those two games not helping the Bears. That was a lot of help and an extreme oh, yeah. long shot for Missouri State to get to the number one. But Yeah, I would have wanted to see the <laughs> Vegas odds on that one, but... Uh, Funny how expectations change. Some years you just don't want to play on Thursday, and now you're trying to figure out all the different permutations to be the number one seed. Prim with the block of mast. And the Bears the other way. With Prim against Mast. Manette guarded three. Oh, count it. He had a Brave in his pocket while he was shooting that one. Could have been another four-point play. Mosley had a chance at one of those in the first half. And here's an and one on the other end. Roberts could not get going in the first half, only scored two points. He's going to go to the line here to shoot the traditional three-point play after Lukai Patterson reached out and tagged him. Robert's first trip to the line tonight. He is from Florida Southwestern State College. They are the Buccaneers. I had to look that up. <laughs> Top 10 in points on their career list. Now foul on Missouri State's end. Connor Hickman gets his first. Bears will inbound underneath. Missouri State is closing in on its own team single season three point record as they have gone over 250 for the season here tonight the record is 270 there's one for bradley no it's a two they're going to say two for leon's he just had a toe on the line that time because that is his favorite spot. Leon's always looking for an opportunity to launch that corner three. That's his favorite. Prim will go from deep, and it's off. That Jokic-esque rainmaker of a shot. It's one thing when he's going from 10 feet. It's another thing when he's 20 feet out and he throws that thing up. Foul with free throws coming for Bradley now. Foul goes to Patterson quickly, two in the second half for him. Well, and all of a sudden, you don't have the matchup that you had the first half. Lukai Patterson has gotten into foul trouble now because he's guarding Roberts. That was almost exclusively the purview of Donovan Clay in the first half. And you can tell Dana Ford confused by the defensive switches. He's got to pull Patterson out, one of his original starting five. He'll replace him with Isaac Haney. Roberts following his free throw. The Bears block out and get the rebound. Two minutes in in the second half. Eight point game with Donovan Clay. Out front to Mosley, look out if he gets loose again. Well, that's what, if it was up to me right now, I'd just say, get me an isolation play for Mosley. Step back three, yep. Picked up right where he left off. Wow. 21 for Mosley. Up and under and in for Leones. Leones just had a long two on the other end and this time able to get Isaiah Mosley off his feet. And don't let that get in your head there, man. He left his feet, swatted at Leones. I can kind of see what Mosley's getting at. I don't know that there was any contact there on the swat, but he may have got him with the body. As Leones, young transfer from Mineral Area Community College, converts. Jury Juco. Man, and he won just about every award you could win, Don, in Juco ball for for his time at Mineral Area, I mean, he was uh, he was pretty much on every watch list, every All-American list, you name it. Connor Hickman's second foul. There's Mosley with Tavanainen guarding. 
Haney fires out front. Clay around his man to the basket and the score. There was about one second left on that shot clock when Donovan Clay opened that right hand and let that floater go. That is a big time shot and pushes the Bears lead back to 10. Out to the arc. Leon's for three. Leon's doing his best Isaiah Mosley impression here in the second half. He hasn't missed. Eight points in three and a half minutes in the second half and nine total now for Leon's. He is. Now Mosley gets fouled. Ryan Wardle thought the foul was a little late in being called, but he's not going to here. He's not going to like the fact that it's going to go against his big rink mast either, but he put his hand right into Mosley's chest. That'll put number one at the free throw line. How about this? Lay owns Don has a perfect run to start the second half. He is three of three from the floor, one of one from three point land, and one of one at the charity strike. Couldn't ask for a much better start for Bradley. Now it's Mosley. Two of two. For 23 this evening. Missouri State lead back to nine. Across for Ari Boya. He had two baskets in the first half with two fouls. Bears take this one away. Active hands that time in the passing lanes and Hickman had the ball batted away from him and now he's on skates trying to guard Mosley. He's gonna foul him. And, and it goes down. Are you kidding me? You know it's your night. When you get that to fall, the young man that shoots better than 92% at the line is gonna go back there after the break. 25 and counting for Isaiah Mosley, Bears by 11. This world is full of opportunities. Chances, dares, windows that open to greatness for tomorrow's workforce. It all matters. The future is coming. Tomorrow's leaders are ready to make their statement today. Who are they? Here come the Bears. It's Chevy Truck Month, and it's time to add the perfect accessories to your new Chevy. Make it bolder. Make it work harder. Make it your own. Find new possibilities. Find new roads. Get great offers from GM Financial and 1750 cash allowance on Silverado 1500 Crew Cap pickups. Plus, now during Truck Month, get a $1,000 accessory allowance towards the purchase of eligible accessories. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. What can you do in a moment? Check in with your checking account without missing a step. Or deposit a birthday check without ever having to leave the party. You can send some money and chip in on a gift that'll make everyone's night. Or just turn your debit card off when it gets lost in all the excitement. Wherever you're headed, with Great Southern Bank's mobile app in your pocket, you can make the most of your money and every moment. Get started today at greatsouthernbank.com slash mobile. Member FDIC. Arch Madness. It's all about the excitement, the fans, the history, the big moments. Shoots at the horn. Good! Good! It's all about the madness. To make it to the tournament. And March, it, it begins, begins here. here. I'll see you in St. Louis. Visit archmadness.com for ticket information. Bradley has picked up a point here. They changed the, the Leon two apparently to a three. So it's a 10 point Missouri State lead, under 16 to go. Can you tell that President Cliff Smart canceled class at one o'clock this afternoon because the weather was so bad? 
They still walked over here. They got a chance to cut into their tuition debt here tonight. Yeah, this is as different a promotion as I've seen in a long time called, like, Clear Your Account. They're giving <laughs> away, like, four or five $250 gift cards towards your bear account, and then one student tonight is going to win a card for $2,500. And I mean, that'll go away to, to pay it off some, some books and some debt in the bookstore, man. Mom and Dad say, you get up and you go to that game tonight. You go to that game. Don't care how slick it is between Blair Shannon and JQH Arena. You go anyway. Well, Mosley hasn't missed much, but the throw wouldn't go. That's Underneath, Boya, yes. Boya now with six points. He's got a perfect line. He doesn't shoot it very much, but he's three for three from the floor. At seven foot one, you can pretty much bet it's always going to be a high percentage shot. In for Prim, and Boya gets an arm into him. That's going to be personal foul number three on the seven foot one Ari Boya from Cameroon. See the bump there, and then the official calls the block, and we get blocked by the official, and Boya gets a rebound. Mosley a miss from the corner. Now five of eight from three. And a strip of the ball the other way. Patterson, Prim running with him. And a foul on the floor. A very emphatic call from Brooke, Brooks Wells there. Mikey Howell for his second. Lukai Patterson had gone out of the game after picking up two fouls, trying to guard Terry Roberts. Finally gets back into the lineup here. Trying to get some productive minutes with those couple of fouls in his back pocket. Grim, a little space, but a miss. There is not a bear with more than two fouls at all tonight so Missouri State and that's kind of rare that they can play pretty much all out here at this point there are however two Braves in the danger zone Boya just now and Hickman and Mass so three Patterson with a score Lukai Patterson's offense is getting better and better the last couple weeks as here's an unforced error Give the ball back to Missouri State. Lukai has scored in double figures in five of the last seven matchups for Missouri State, including that 20-point blow-up against Bradley. That was his career best. Right now, he killed his dribble, and he's kind of in jail. Mosley has to come back and bail him out. There he goes. Two more for Mosley. That's 27. Sweet little baseline teardrop runner. He lets it go, and all Tava Ninens could do is watch it go through the cylinder. Out to the arc. Howell's three is off. Strong rebound, and this will count for oh. Leon. Second foul to Black. Black hasn't got a lot of minutes tonight. The former Rockbridge Bruin played his high school ball with Isaiah Mosley. He didn't start tonight, so Jalen Minette could start on his senior night, but Black's only been in for about 12 minutes. They'll put Leones on the line. We're talking about all the Juco accolades he got in his time at Mineral Area. How about Juco Male Student Athlete of the Year, Division I Men's Basketball Player of the Year, NABC two-year college player of the year and an All-American first teamer. That guy just filled up the trophy case in his two years of Juco ball. Well, Evansville's not putting up much resistance against Loyola tonight. Well, the upside is for Bears fans. Guess where Missouri State is Saturday? Against Evansville <laughs> in Indiana. Yep. Patterson. Oh, man. Another. God, lean left, spin back right, and snap the net. Looking for Boya, but it comes out to the arc instead, and Tavaninen with a miss. 
Mosley with his fifth rebound to go with 27 points and not quite getting to 30. I was going to say, if that <laughs> one goes in, go buy a lottery ticket, dude. Block. Rejection. Play over the top and sends it screaming out of bounds. Donovan Clay, clean, and then the big right-handed swipe. Sending Hickman's offering all the way into the corner and nearly running up the tunnel. Inbound from the side for the Braves. Underneath looking for Mast, and it's off of Mast. And Prim got a hand on it. So Gage Prim redirected it. It went right off the Nikes of Rink Mast and out of bounds. In the game, the turnovers see we told you the keys that the magic number of turnovers for Bradley is 11. When they get at that 11 mark, if they stay below it, they're 7 and 0. They're undefeated. When they go above it, well, things don't go well as well in the win-loss column. And they're sitting at 11 now. And Missouri State has only turned the ball over still three times as Clay gets the leader. He's got 10. Such clean play for Missouri State tonight. All three of those turnovers in the first half, nothing in the first eight minutes of the second half. Side, a lot of traffic in the foul. Yeah, three, three bears all over Leones that time, and easy, easy call to send us to break. Second foul to Gage Prim, Missouri State. On top by 13 at home against the Bradley Braves. The Capital One Saver Card, baby. 4% cash back on dining and entertainment. Rewarding Chuck for dining and entertainment? Oh, so he does. Like rewarding me for every time I plunder. Hey, Garth, thanks for the goat cheese. Don't thank me. Thank her. Hobbies, <laughs> <laughs> two for six bucks. Crispy fish with that spicy kick. Two of those things for just six bucks. Arby's, we have the meat. Check out this verbal. Come on. Now I'm here. Now you're here. Can't go on those I am right where I belong. It's true. Everyone gets a free new Samsung Galaxy S22 with a Galaxy traded. Any year, any condition. Really? Even if my old phone looks like this? <gasps> Dude, why? <gasps> How could you? It's okay, people. They've trained for this. It's not complicated. Everyone gets a free new Samsung Galaxy S22 with the Galaxy trade-in. Any year, any condition. Too smart, cause I'm always scoping money. I got money. Kelly Blue Book Instant Cash Offer is an official offer to buy your car. Just enter your vehicle ID information, answer a couple questions, then receive a no obligation offer to sell it or trade it. Then choose a dealer to purchase your car, schedule a time, and drive away with confidence. For all of the it's, KBB.com. Rangers Penguins, Saturday on ABC and ESPN+. Plus. Sixty-three fifty, Missouri State. Under 12 minutes to go here at JQH Arena. Home finale for Missouri State this evening. They'll be at Evansville. Part of a full slate of games coming up on Saturday when Bradley is Hosting Valparaiso. Another Valley update for the night. Southern Illinois all over Illinois State. And what you're seeing in all of these scores, Don, is the haves and the have-nots. The top five in the league all winning in a lot of cases by fairly large margins. The bottom five in the league, the four teams are in and end up with the play-in round on Thursday. 
all on the losing end of a lot of scores here tonight. Leon's at the line for 13 points now. Ryan Wardle's bunch, winners of eight of their last 10. And you know what? Don, they get a couple of free throws there, but neither one of these teams is exactly lighting it up for the charity stripe. Both teams shooting 60% at the line tonight. Both six of 10. Mosley missing a couple that are just as uncharacteristic as anything. And this time he gives the ball up. Now Roberts had something to do with that. Terry Roberts stayed down, stayed low, and knocked that one out of Mosley's hands. That would be the first steal of the night for Bradley. Missouri State had six in the first half. Only the fourth Bear turnover. Annette looking. That was supposed to be a pass. <laughs> yeah, he and, he and Prim were not on the same page, even though they were both recognized on senior night. And this is a Missouri State team, Don, that has more seniors on the roster, but man, with COVID and everything else, senior night's kind of just a weird thing anymore. The only thing we know for sure is that, that Manette and Prim are out of years of eligibility, but there's three more seniors on the roster that can use their COVID year and come back next year. Frank Masks nails a three. His first of the evening is 25th of the year. Bradley is right in this. They have quietly climbed their way back in. They've knocked down four of their last five shots of the Braves. And Missouri State's kind of gone cold. Had a turnover or two, and they need to get back to doing what they do, and that guy could do it for you. Mosley stripped of the ball there, a rare closer range miss for him. Now to the basket. The other way for Missouri State off of the Roberts miss. Mosley again, the fake. Gets it back himself and puts it down. There were Bears dotted Don around the perimeter, waving their hands, wanting the ball, wanting a shot. But Mosley just knew, I got to take one here. I got to get us one here. And that's exactly what one of the leading scorers in the Valley did right there. Push it back to 10 points. Mass tracks the ball toward the corner for the Braves. This one will stay out for Montgomery. So Missouri State by 10, and here goes Manette and down. Man, what a strong take by Jalen Manette. All the conversation always about what a great shooter he is, how good he is from the wing. And that time, that was just straight up good guard play, a good strong take, and a good finish. Back to back baskets for the Bears, and Mask will get an easy two down on Bradley's end. Well, that was a bad defensive switch. Minette ended up on Mast, and Rink Mast was going to take advantage of that. Now the Bears are over the line throwing the ball in. A rare mistake you don't want to see at this point in the year. A mental error that, you know, the polite thing to do is call it an unforced error. The, the truth is that's just something you can't let happen when you're trying to finish out a ball game. Foul called here. It'd be like lining up offside in the last football game of the year. And a lot of this has to do with Minette, Don. He got beat by Mast on the bucket. Then he stepped over the line on the inbounds. Now he's committed a bad foul here. If I'm Dana Ford, you got to take Jalen out, press the reset button there. But unfortunately, they just took Mosley out, had to bring Black in to take his spot. So you're kind of guard short now. Trouble in the lane for Roberts. Bails out, and Brooks Wells will step in for some help here with Kip Kissinger. Well, it looked pretty clear. I thought player had the ball falling out of bounds, threw it off another player. We saw it twice by Missouri State in the first half. Where's the debate what Brooks here? might have seen here. <laughs> that it, did it hit Roberts it again? 
Oh, you think thinking Roberts wasn't all the way out of bounds yet? Well, we haven't had a video review all night. Not time for one. It seems, it seems like it. We're well below the average, and we're going to get one. They will send him in and check this out with 8.44 to go. Maybe a better Let's, look at it here for us and yeah. what the officials might see. Oh, only a shot clock reset. Yeah, that, that clearly goes off of Carper. And yeah, the Brandon Hyde, our producer, telling us they're thinking they need a shot clock re reset. Are you kidding me? They're still looking for a $500 tuition hey, winner I, here. I got a high school junior that's probably going to be here in another year and a half. I'll go claim it and hold on to it until Carter gets here. <laughs> Unclaimed, clear your account money. Or Really? Come on, students. <laughs> you trekked over here in the sleet. <laughs> Kept Kissinger and Owen short looking at it now. Both the teams getting the benefit of a free timeout and all of that attention. We've gone from 19 to 12 on the shot clock. Seven, seven seconds on the shot clock took a little bit longer than seven seconds in real time. I'm glad the shot clocks are working tonight. Well, heck yeah. Then you don't like starting games out with tacticals. A little bit of a sticky issue here at times. <laughs> Right off the inbound, it's Connor Hickman with a score. And Hickman just kind of hits you every now and again. He goes quiet. You don't hear or see from him for a while. And the moment Wardle calls his number, he gets back in. He's able to score. And now a turnover here. Manette throws it away. To the top for three. Oh, and now look out, it's Connor Hickman. Hickman's gone on a personal 5-0 run to make it a five-point game. 67-62, and Connor Hickman, the freshman, bringing the Bradley Braves back within five. Assuming all NBA players want rings, it's like assuming State Farm doesn't have great rates. Why do we have coasters if nobody's gonna use them? For surprisingly great rates that fit any budget, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or click to get a quote today. Since 1907, we've been one valley, breaking down recruitment barriers, hiring coaches to lead our programs, and developing the country's next set of leaders. MVC student athletes are positively impacting the communities where they live by sharing views and fostering a climate for change for future Valley pioneers. To learn more about mobilizing voices for change, visit nvc-sports.com slash one valley. Hello, sweet babies. Welcome to your new home. You have changed our life, and you may even change the world. And because of you, 2022 is the best year ever. Mercy has helped moms deliver babies for nearly 200 years. To find out how to welcome your baby at Mercy, visit mercy.net slash MSU mom. It's up to you, Missouri. Choose COVID vaccination for your health, the health of your family, and for your community. Get vaccinated and talk to providers about any questions you have. What are you waiting for? Learn more about getting vaccinated at moimmunize.org. This message from the Missouri Immunization Coalition. Connor Hickman with five quick Bradley points to get the Braves within five, and Hickman now has matched his career high with 15 points. He had that against Drake this year. Well, all you need to know about this young man as far as what the coaching staff and Brian Wardle think about his upside, 
He averages about six points a game. Don tells you the career high, tying it tonight with 15 points on six of nine shooting. But this year, he started the season opener. Bradley hadn't started a rookie in a season opener since 2016, 2017, when they started the likes of Koch Barr and Daryl Brown. Both of those, two very good names in the uh, lexicon, if you will, of Bradley Brave basketball. Barr was a world beater for a couple of years. So down to the eight minute mark here in Springfield. Two possession game now with Bradley closing the gap. Manette with a miss, Prim with a tap to himself. And up strong, up and under, and foul. And another timeout coming before Gage Prim goes to the line. Ari Boya gets his fourth foul for the Braves. Missouri State by five. I am so pumped to be back with you guys for March Madness. <laughs> you remember the first time we got together? Good seat, Sam. I used my Capital One Quicksilver card and earned 1.5% cash back. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. <laughs> Come on, right? Sorry, I'll never do that again. Promise. Hello, friends. You knew about the Quicksilver card back then? It's called being a visionary, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, you've always been ahead of the game. It's bow time. No, 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 no. Out of gas on game day? Drop a big bow box on it. <laughs> Feed a family of four with eight pieces of chicken, biscuits, fixins, and tea. It's bow time. <laughs> Stuff. We love stuff, and there's some really great stuff out there. But I doubt that any of us will look back on our lives and think, I wish I'd bought an even thinner TV. Found a lighter light beer. Or had an even smarter smartphone. Do you think any of us will look back in our lives and regret the things we didn't buy? Or the places we didn't go? It's true, everyone gets a free new Samsung Galaxy S22 with a Galaxy trade-in. Any year, any condition. Really? Even if my old phone looks like this? <gasps> Dude, why? <gasps> How could you? It's okay, people. I've trained for this. It's not complicated. Everyone gets a free new Samsung Galaxy S22 with a Galaxy trade-in. Any year, any condition. Best player in the world right now. Kevin Durant coming through in the clutch. He's a two-time MVP, defensive player of the year for a reason. Greek the freak out of backboards, keeping it a buck. It's Saturday primetime. Nets Bucks on ABC. Well, here comes the guy that had $2,500 cleared from his Missouri State financial account here this evening. <laughs> awarded by none other than University President Cliff Smart. Well, coming up is the final day of the regular season Saturday. The spotlight will be on Cedar Falls, Iowa, where Loyola and Northern Iowa will play straight up for the Valley title in the regular season at 5 o'clock on ESPNU. And they've said it for years, Don, the Missouri Valley Conference is a coach's league. Uh, don't bet against Ben Jacobson in Northern Iowa at home on, on the weekend. Look at that, Southern Illinois at Drake. Get a little spotlight on CBS Sports Network as well. Gage Prim shooting as we come back. His first point of the second half. Gage Prim has so wanted to step his game up to the next level this year, Don. When I talk to Corey Gibson and the coaching staff, all off season, he is a 4 a.m. gym guy. He was in the gym from four to eight in the morning working on his shot, working on his three-pointer, trying to get more of a perimeter game. And then he would sleep for an hour or two until the rest of the team came in for practice. That's how much commitment 44 has put into his final year of college basketball. And there he sends Roberts out of bounds. Roberts steps on the line before he bounces the ball off a of prim. 
Missouri State now up with the lead at six, but still just seven of 12 at the free throw line. 7.20 to go. Manette looks low to Prim. Kind of falling away <laughs> from the basket, but he puts it in. And that's what Minette was trying to do before the last media timeout. They weren't on the same page. This time, he and Prim reading from the same book. Rinks, three is off. Tapped out long for Bradley and another look at three. Stays out for Tavaninen. Isaiah Mosley pulls down his ninth rebound of the game. One away from a double-double, sitting with 29 and nine. And he will put it over 30. He goes over 30 points for the sixth game this season. He's got one 40-point game and six 30-point games on the resume this year. And one, what, two 40-point games. The 43 against Northern Iowa. And that is an offensive foul. Gage Prim. Manette just put that one right on the money over Leones and Rink Mast. Prim couldn't keep his feet under him, but it didn't stop him from delivering the bucket. For Prim, 14 points, five rebounds tonight. Yeah, Mosley 43 against Northern Iowa, 40 at Loyola in that torrid run of scoring that he had in January. That led to his back-to-back-to-back Missouri Valley Conference Player of the Week honors. It's been now two and a half minutes since Bradley's been able to get a field goal. Out of bounds, off the miss. The Bears have taken the lead from five to 10 and have the ball now. Mikey Howell checks back in for Bradley. Bradley really leaning on the three-pointer, Don, the last couple of possessions, and they're not at the spot on the clock or in the game yet where you got to have a three every time down, but they kind of seem to be living and dying by the three right now. Bradley 8 of 24 for the game. The Bears 9 of 24. The give to Mosley. Finds Isaac Haney loose for three. Braves the other way. Out to Mast. Not there. There's Mosley's 10th board for his double-double. 31 and 10. Just one assist, because when he's gotten the ball, he's gone to score just like Donovan Clay does here as he banks it home and gets the and one. Clay with 12 and headed for the line. Leones is going to pick up the foul, his second. Donovan Clay hasn't missed tonight. Five of five from the field with two of those from the arc. That's his first free throw attempt, and that's down. And now it's an 8-0 run for Missouri State with timeout for Brian Wardle. 4.43 remaining here at JQH Arena. Bears against Evansville. What was that score a while ago? I <laughs> say Loyola was up about 30. Yeah, Evansville was in the teens. That is Saturday at four for the Missouri State Bears to end their regular season. And the Braves hosting Valparaiso at the Carver Arena. Gage Prim Don with his 14 points tonight, the 94th double figure scoring game in his career at Missouri State. And this will be the 32nd time that Mosley's gone for 20 or more. And wonder if those two want any money off their accounts tonight. They seem in a good mood. Looking good for Bears fans right now. Bradley turns it over again. 
their 15th turnover of the night. Missouri State, who only had three turnovers the first half, have turned it over eight, a total of eight times now, so five in the second half. Missouri State now can take a different pace and tempo if they like. There goes Mosley off the glass for 33. He's been going all night. Mosley can just beat you in so many different ways. Roberts connects from the outside. His first made triple of the night. And looked like a toe on the arc there for a two. Did it end up going to, how many of those have we had tonight? Somebody got to take one big step back. <laughs> All it takes. Patterson back to work. Too much there. Missouri State by 13. Connor Hickman. Missouri State will slow the pace with 310 left. No reason not to. Patterson, who's led the team in assists 10 different times this season, can let the air out of the ball a little bit. Now Clay's turnaround is good. So Clay goes six for six now, Don, and that's the minimum to see whether or not a bear is shot 100% the last time it happened, November of 21, wasn't that long ago, Jalen Minette did it on a six for six shooting night. Here comes Mosley. He'll look, and it's Clay for the finish. The unselfish play by Mosley, and Donovan Clay goes seven for seven with the two-handed jam. Watch it one more time. Mosley doesn't even look. He knows his man's there, and Clay brings it down. Bears have blown it open with 2.17 to go. Capital One Saver Card, baby. 4% cash back on dining and entertainment. Rewarding Chuck for dining and entertainment? That's all he does. Like rewarding me for every time I plunder. Hey, Garth, thanks for the goat cheese. Don't thank me. Thank her. <laughs> <laughs> it's bow time. No, 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 no. Out of gas on game day? Drop a big bow box on it. <laughs> Feed a family of four with eight pieces of chicken, biscuits, fixins, and tea. It's bow time. <laughs> Only at Metro by T-Mobile, you can upgrade to 5G and get more. More choices with the largest selection of free 5G phones, like the Samsung Galaxy A13 5G. More 5G coverage on the T-Mobile network. And more savings from the most affordable unlimited plans, with 5G included. Get more free 5G phones, more 5G coverage, and more savings. Only at Metro. Is it going to be your time or someone else's? It's time to decide. State by 17, and Donovan Clay has rolled a perfect evening still. Seven for seven from the field, six rebounds and 17 points. And that dynamic dunk right before the timeout here with 217. Clay still off of his all-time career high, which, you know, it's going to be the answer to a trivia question years from now if he never breaks it. What college player had his career high against the team that he played for? 
which is when he was at Valpo, he dropped 22 on Missouri State, but he hasn't eclipsed the 22 point mark since coming to Springfield. Bradley now needs anything they can find, but Missouri State on a 17 to four and the putback is good for Bradley and it's Connor Linky off the bench. Getting in for the first time. Some new faces out there. Darius Hanna is on the floor for Bradley. Maxi Cano as well from France, a 6'7 freshman. He wears number two. There the new guys get a turnover. Mikey Howell gets fouled by Patterson. He's the first bear to get to even three fouls tonight. Yep, it's been as clean as a game as Dana Ford could possibly hope for from his charges. And Patterson looks frustrated, but man, look at the scoreboard. <laughs> You're all right. Don't let that bother you. Mikey Howell shooting. Missouri State over 50% shooting tonight, man. 52 and a half. Well, Key to the whole thing. Well, and that just goes against the, the biggest thing that Bradley hangs their hat on every year, which is their defense. You know, they lay claim to being one of just a handful of teams that's held their opponents to under 42% field goal shooting for the last, like, five seasons. I mean, it's it's... It's a big number that not a lot of schools defenses can come close to and Bradley's done that, but they have been unable to hold the Bears shooters in line here tonight and Manette dribbles the ball out of bounds and gives it back to Bradley. Now Bradley's number one figure in the Valley 398 for field goal percentage defense is going to take a hit tonight. Down to a minute to go. Econo will bring it up to the top for the Braves. Surprised they're spending this much time on the possession, all the way under 10 on the shot clock. Bradley will drop to 16 and 13 with their game against Valpo Saturday night at 7 in Peoria. Look out. Stalemate there. <laughs> we'll call it a tie up. Bears will improve to 21 and 9 with one to go at Evansville Saturday afternoon at 4. Manette leads with eight points. The senior send off here for Manette and now Gage Prim. Prim, 14 points, five boards tonight. He has been an extra special bear in his time in Springfield. He didn't spend his entire career here, but the time he has been here, he has endured himself to the fans of Missouri State, and the basketball fans here in Springfield. And that 20 number, Don, that's a big number. Getting to 20 wins, that kind of tells you whether or not you've got a shot at the postseason. That your net ranking. At the shot clock buzzer, it's good for Haney. Bears set to improve to 12 and five in Valley play with one to go, and no worse than a tie for third. One more chance here. That will do it, and Bradley falls to Missouri State as the Bears win 83 to 67 for their 21st win of the season. Coming down to it in the Missouri Valley Conference, and Missouri State closes strong to defeat Bradley by a 16-point margin. Another monster game by Isaiah Mosley just to add to his resume and what Missouri State needed to get him back on track heading into the postseason. 33 points tonight for Isaiah Mosley with the double-double as the Bears win 83-67. to For Corey Riggs, I'm Don West saying so long from JQH Arena in Springfield, Missouri. 
All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.